Ever since driving the Honda Civic Touring, I've been waiting patiently to get my hands on this 2024 Honda Civic SI. It is the most fun, affordable Civic that money can buy. So today I'm gonna to take you on a full tour of the exterior, full tour of the interior, and then of course, that POV drive. So let's get right into it. All right, so front end up first as usual for the Civic Si. We have very nice daytime running LEDs. Now, not a lot is very different outside-wise from the Touring that you would have saw a couple of months ago, other than this Si badge and the grille looks a little bit different. Daytime running LEDs are very nice. Parking sensors in the front here as well, as well as we have a front helical limited slip differential right up here, which is going to aid pulling out of corners. So it's really nice. Looks really sporty. I've got the black on black color. Let me know what you think about that. So under the hood for the Civic Si, we have a 1.5 liter turbo inline four engine producing 200 horsepower, 192 pound feet of torque, and it only comes with a six speed manual transmission. Honda are some of the only manufacturers still offering manual transmission, and it's nice to see one car come standard in it. Now the as tested price is $37,596,000 Canadian. That's without tax, without all the added stuff that you could get. Also, it's worth noting, since I am in Canada and have the Canadian version of the Civic Si, I get things like heated seats and heated steering, as well as heated seats in the back seats as well. I don't believe our US friends have that at all. So we actually, I think, have the best version of the Civic Si. So next we come on to the side profile for the Civic Si. Now this, I think, is still considered a compact sedan, but it's actually quite big. But still, I really do like the look. I like the look of the Touring. I also really enjoy the look of the Civic Si because you can see we have a little black spoiler back there. I'll cover that in just a second. I do have some black on black rims, so that's really good too. So basically, this Civic Si that I'm testing this week is just black on black. Let's get a little bit closer, check out these nice rims here. I do enjoy the black, although it probably doesn't do very well on camera. I like these turn signal LEDs as well. No camera, because don't have a 360 degree camera system in here, but that is fine. I also have one touch lock and unlocking doors, so that's going to be great as well and it will also lock when you walk away. So that's also very important. Overall, it doesn't look too compact from the outside, but it definitely does look pretty sporty. All right, so now we come on to the back for the Honda Civic Si. This is where I could get kind of up close with that little spoiler. It is blacked out, not carbon fiber, paint matched. Civic badge right there, standard Civic tail lights, two exhaust pipes though, which look pretty good and also don't sound that bad. Let me try to get close. not too bad not too much of a rear diffuser there but that's okay the back looks very sporty i'm also a fan of this si badge now let's open the trunk of course it's not automatic but that doesn't matter we've got a ton of trunk space that was one of the things i loved about the civic touring and i had wondered if they did anything different with the civic si and the good news is that they have it i've got civic s or civic mats that's very nice for the trunk liner that's an additional option if you want it but still tons of room you can fold the seats down from right there and you'll have a bunch of room to go all the way along this sedan. So very excellent there as well. So that's gonna do it for the full exterior tour of the Honda Civic Si. Let's take a look at the interior and then of course that POV drive coming up right after that. All right, so first up as usual is the back seat for the Honda Civic Si. Reminds me a lot of the Touring, not a lot of different colors here, but check this out. I have heated seats, three levels of it for the back seat right here, which has got this nice red stitching that goes along, very simple. It's a cloth seat. We don't have leather seats, the Touring does, but honestly that trade-off is really not bad considering how fun this car actually is. So let me hop in here, close the door and boom. Plenty of room sitting behind myself as a driver. When I'm driving manual cars, I tend to sit a little bit further up, but that actually benefits the person that's gonna sit behind me. Two USB-A ports right here. No vents back here, but I am feeling the air coming right back there from the middle. A Little bit of pocket storage. You can see like kind of the cool outline for the seats here. I do although have some cup holders that are gonna fold down, look very good. Like I said, this passenger seat is also heated and they've got their own light back here. Good view of the sunroof as well. It is perfect. I could probably do a road trip back here. Very comfortable, very spacious with my legroom 
and I've also got a decent amount of headroom, just kind of like a cutout right here. So really not a lot to complain here for the rear of the Honda Civic Si. So let's take a look up front. All right, next up is the business end, the front end for the Honda Civic Si. This is where you're gonna see some interesting interior stuff. So I've got kind of like a cloth material right here. It's actually all cloth, piano black here, but I'm not gonna to touch it so it doesn't get dirty. I like the red here as well, as well as like the red stitching accents that are everywhere. Trunk button will be right there. Take a look at the seats before we sit in them. Got the SI badge right there. I love these seats. They're like nice bucket seats. So when you're going fast, you know, they're, they're gonna hold you in place. They're a very firm hold. It's all manually adjusted, no power, but that is no bother considering the price. And I am just an absolute fan. These are probably one of my favorite looking seats on the Civic or in any car. These are very nice. So next up, we will actually hop in. Very easy to do so. You just kind of fall in to that bucket seat. Then we're greeted by this nice Civic steering wheel with the red trim all around. And check this out. Americans aren't gonna like this one. We have here in Canada, the heated steering wheel button. Very nice. It's required in Canada. We absolutely need it. Otherwise it causes a problem for us. Left-hand side, I've got some illumination controls, my parking sensors, traction control, and my assists. I've got this little vent here. I like the red that's around the vents as well. Steering wheel controls. I've got, you know, my volume, stuff like that. And then I can control the digital gauge cluster. I can, can control what's there, what's being displayed on either side, as well as the kind of theme that you would want to have. Very good. I like it. It doesn't show you like a gear indicator. It doesn't really tell you what gear you're in. I don't think many Hondas actually do that. It's just something that I saw in some other manuals that I did enjoy having, but it's not, ne it's not a necessity per se but I did like having it. And also we get these shift lights as well. Moving right on over, we have our infotainment display that is on the small side, but honestly, I don't care. I can see everything I need. I can go into my vehicle settings. I can, you know, tinker with my individual settings, which is really either sport or normal. So I <laughs> you just leave everything in sport. Um, you can also have your driver assist. So this is where you're gonna turn off or on your rev match system, which I turn on because I am not a pro manual driver. Keyless access setup, this is where you're gonna choose all that stuff. I can also go to the home. I have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Sirius XM, trip computer, stuff like that. I can see range and different things here is very good. Built-in navigation is decent as well to have in case you don't use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So yeah, really no complaints here. Same as the thing that was on the touring. Uh, I don't have any there, there's nothing you can play about here. It's solid. Then we move just a little bit lower. I've got my HVAC controls, dual zone, automatic climate control. This is where my three levels of heated seats are going to be. Passenger also gets them. Very nice. It's hot out, so I won't be using that today. Wireless charging pad as well. Two USB ports, USB-A. No C here in the car yet. Then we move down to take a look at this guy. The manual transmission. A very, very nice feeling manual transmission. I know what gear I'm in, and I know when I'm in the gear. It is very good. One of the top ones that I've driven and I haven't driven many in my life. And that manual transmission, of course, is paired with the third pedal here. I'll show you through the steering wheel right there. Clutch is very easy to use and operate, but I'll talk about that when we actually take it on the road. I've got some drive mode, so I have sport, individual, and normal. Normally, though, we're driving in sport mode. Electronic parking brake, two cup holders, pretty standard. Then I also have a little bit of storage in there, not too bad. And then, again, passenger also gets a nice Civic SI seat. Very good. I love these seats, like I said before. So let me strap that GoPro onto my forehead. Let's do some manual driving. All right, so now we are on the road, 2024 Honda Civic SI. Only 200 horsepower, but does it matter? We're gonna find out here by telling you what it's like to have driven it for basically the whole week now at this point is uh you know i'm always driving it in sport mode because that is the more fun mode to drive in it's been a very forgiving manual so basically my manual experience consists of about maybe a month but not a month straight of driving manual vehicles so i kind of go on and off because i only have these cars for a week and sometimes so maybe i've taken about four or five cars at this point that are manual so we do have some performance here. I'm just gonna kinda give myself a little gap if I can, try not to get tailgated, uh, but we might. So here we go, let's press it a little bit. Ooh. 
So I am not the greatest shifter of manual drivers in the world, but I can still have fun with this. Like, like I said, not a lot of experience driving manuals, so the Civic has been very forgiving with me. Uh, you know, because generally when you don't drive a, a manual transmission for a long time, you kind of have a little bit of a, an adjustment period, a learning period, if you will. And the Civic allows me to learn pretty well without giving me much consequences. Like I haven't been stalling all over the place, nothing like that, nothing severe like that. The clutch is very, very like obvious to me. Um, I can tell where it is when it wants to shift, stuff like that. So yeah, to me, this is very easy to drive. I've even got kind of like a, a lane centering assist that also turns the wheel for me. So like, you know, if, if I am on drives, I'm only doing that because there's oncoming traffic, but I could technically take my hands off of the steering wheel and have absolutely no problems. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit sketchy here. So obviously if there's something in my way like that tractor just was, I have to turn it off and then turn it back on. But otherwise, absolutely no problem when it comes to that. It's very, very easy to just drive the speed limit. I also have adaptive cruise control and I think the Civic Si is able to go from like 10 kilometers all the way up to highway speeds, 100 kilometers in sixth gear. So you can kind of just put the adaptive cruise controls because it's always like, okay, I've got adaptive control but when am I shifting and like because obviously it's not able to do it for you otherwise it would just be called an automatic right uh, you know so that's kind of the thing is well you can kind of do it in low gear range of the sixth gear and it kind of will be slow but it will get you up to speed that you need to be automatically with its thing so I think that's really cool as well it's kind of something that's usable for road trips and I think you could actually do a road trip quite easily with the Civic Si but yeah, I'm always driving in sport mode. I'm always driving in the fastest mode possible. As we have a Golf that's probably got way more horsepower on me to keep up with. But yeah, you know what? Still lots of fun to do pulls. He's doing pulls in front of me. We love that stuff. <laughs> he actually sounds way better than me. Now the Civic Si does have pumped in audio. It's worth noting that. And I actually don't hate it because you know, it kind of adds a little bit of personality to a vehicle that, you know, might not have the best exhaust tune. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are gonna take these and run with them modification-wise, but yeah, <laughs> I like the pumped in audio. I don't find it annoying, and if I don't like it, I could just go back to normal mode and I won't hear it anymore, and I could still have just as much fun, pretty much. So yeah, how is this Civic Si to daily drive? It's really solid because the clutch is so forgiving, because it's so easy to get the car up and rolling, because I think it is so beginner friendly that, you know, it's just so easy to like, I don't have anxiety stopping at stoplights. I don't have it at stop signs. I don't have it in traffic. I've got rev match downshifting. So I feel like an absolute hero all of the time. Oh, that golf sounds cool. Yeah, so shifting is super easy, super clean. I'm just a fan of how the Civic Si performs just on a daily basis. It's just nice to drive and you don't need to drive it hard. As you can see, I just was before and now like I'm just completely relaxed. I thought the ride quality in here would be a lot worse than it actually is. It's actually quite comfortable. The seats, I think a lot of are doing a lot of the work there rather than the suspension, but it's a great trade-off. I'm such a fan of these seats. They hold me in perfectly no problem no worries there at all i think it's absolutely great yeah the civic si is just a great daily manual driver that can be fun and is fun and you know people can just go wild with it they don't you know they don't have to keep it stock and i'm sure a lot of people won't so that's pretty much going to do it for my thoughts on the civic si for this week great car got to try it yourself if you're interested in getting manual this is a great place to start i think and yeah, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on the bell notifications because YouTube is trash at letting you know when I upload. If you don't wanna miss more vehicles like this, I have more manuals coming up, I can promise you that. You're not gonna wanna miss them. Make sure you click the bell notifications so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. With that being said, I'll see you next week. See you in the next car. Take care.